Once you discover that you're one of those people who doesn't walk away from the subject, that for some reason the subject has held you, I'm curious, what it is, do you think, that has made you, say, Tim, be so interested in, in the sky for so long? And I, I've got, I'll give you a, a multiple choice. Uh, <laughs> I could be like Charlie Rose here and just never shut up, you know. <laughs> but <clears throat> um, it's so beautiful, I can't take my eyes off it. Or it makes me feel less lonely. I feel the more I know about that stuff, the more connected I feel. Or it just feels good. Or it makes me feel young, like I did when I was five. Or it connects me to God, to, to a designer or it keeps me out of bars at night. <laughs> Which of those? Well, all but four, perhaps. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's beauty, um, it's enormity, uh, the fact that we know so little about it, the fact that yet we can learn and are learning, and the fact that it is connected with us in some way. Uh, the nature of which is, is another subject about which we know only a very, a very little. But it's hard ultimately to say, I mean, there's a list of reasons, and in writing the book I went around, I often asked amateur astronomers the same question, how they became fascinated by astronomy. But in the end it's asking a bit like why you married your spouse rather than someone else. It's, mm. if, if, if you really could articulate it, there'd be something suspiciously cold about your response.